So, finally, some brand new, up-to-date Battlefield 2042 gameplay. You might remember a couple of weeks ago, we got some updated little snippets of gameplay, but still on the orbital map. This time, brand new gameplay from three maps that we haven't seen proper gameplay on before. We've got Discarded, Breakaway, and Renewal. So plenty to dig into here, not just new gameplay, new weapons to look at as well. We'll try and break this down, but just going to say off the top of the bat, this gameplay looks really solid. It does look like the guy was playing it on super easy mode, but you know, this is just a gameplay showcase. At least this is the gameplay that we can expect when the game launches in just a couple of weeks time. But like I said, there are a few things to break down, so let's get into it. So the first bit of gameplay focuses on the renewal map. This is the one that's split in half, so it's half desert and then half like futuristic farm plantation kind of area. The gameplay kind of focuses on the plantation side. We start off here just down in the grass and you get a sense of the scale that's on this side. You can see it's a combined arms map. We've got a tank on the road over here, but it does look large. And I guess that's going to be the case for pretty much all of Battlefield 2042's maps. But then the gameplay switches over to us on the top of the building that you can see in the first shot. And then the helicopter smashes us through into the building down below. And this bit's really cool. You can see the player here that's firing the gun, which is a new gun, by the way. They're firing over the top of the specialist with the shield. And I think that's the dozer specialist. I think that's the one. I'm still trying to learn all the names for these characters, but... Um, this looks really cool, and it shows a bit of interplay between the two specialists. And the, the new gun is the PKP BP. And I think it's the PKP Peshenegg machine gun, but it looks like it might be Bullpup. So that might be BP, that might be what it stands for. Not 100% sure, but the gameplay does look pretty epic in here. So it gets massive outside, huge scale, and then you drop inside the building and you get that close quarters action. Looks pretty cool. One thing I noticed on a second viewing, if you scale down the HUD over to the right-hand side where the ammo counter is, you can see that secondary there. I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if it's like some kind of like fast-firing like submachine gun pistol, or if it's just a pistol that's been upgraded with a stock and an extra grip or something like that. Looks a little bit weird, but I guess a couple of weeks' time we'll get a full list of the weapons and we'll know for sure what it really is. Then we move over to Breakaway. This map is absolutely massive. It's the biggest one available at the launch of Battlefield 2042. And we really do get a sense of scale here from the gameplay. We're viewing it from Sundance's perspective and we get to see their wingsuit being deployed and you can just see the scale here. It's absolutely massive, this map. So There's probably going to be quite a big reliance on vehicles to get yourself around. Unless, of course, you're playing a character like Sundance where you can then deploy the wingsuit and you can move around a little bit quicker. As you can see, there's a few zip lines here as well to sort of get up onto buildings and stuff like that. So it looks as if the designers have thought through that it's going to be a rather large map and traversal is going to be a little bit difficult if you just like to play infantry. But like I say, I think there will be a big focus here on vehicles on this map. And it does look incredible. The colours in this game look absolutely awesome, I do have to say. This AK-24 rifle here that's being used by McKay when we're on the zip line, you'll notice it's got a drum mag on it. Plenty of bullets behind that one, so you can expect some good levels of customization. I think we've got 38 bullets in the drum, although that may not be a fully reloaded drum. I was expecting kind of like maybe 50 or 60 rounds, something like that. But I could see that there are more options than just changing the type of ammunition. Looks like there will be like extended magazines available in 2042. And then lastly, we move over to the discarded map and we jump straight in with the dozer specialist using the 12M auto shotgun. This does look pretty cool, but you can see the third player here that he goes to try and shoot that's across the road. Chooses not to go for it, so hopefully shotguns are balanced to be just purely close range. I'm sure they will be, but just nice to see that in some gameplay. And then we get this sort of helicopter crash down and then picks up dozer and we move on. But this shot here of the wider map, you do get a real sense again for the scale here. This looks like a proper combined arms map with vehicles sort of interplaying with infantry on the ground and then air vehicles up above as well. This looks like a map that's going to play really well with a squad that maybe likes to split up and be in different vehicles or have an infantry player on the ground and dominate an area. Looks like there's varying levels of height to play with here. So that will be really interesting to see. But overall, that's the gameplay that we did get to see. And I've got to say, it is nice to finally see some proper Battlefield 2042 gameplay, not in the context of some kind of marketing or promotional trailer. We're seeing some actual gameplay here, even if it is, again, it seems like the guy is playing against people that aren't really paying attention. But 
maybe it was all staged just to show us what gameplay will look like. But again, it does actually look like real gameplay this time, which is good news. Now, with gameplay of these three maps being revealed and then having seen a lot of the orbital map during the open beta, that leaves Kaleidoscope, Hourglass and then Manifest as three other maps that we haven't seen a huge amount of gameplay on. And conveniently, if we've got three maps here in this video, I wouldn't be surprised if in maybe a few days or next week, we get to see some gameplay of those other three maps that we haven't really seen much from so far. But thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And I'll catch you all in the next one.